Hi guys, I got asked how to install TeamViewer on the latest version of Mac or Big Sur. I thought I'd show you how to go through this one. Start off by clicking Safari. You need to download the TeamViewer software. We'll just stretch it out to full screen. There we go. In the search bar at the top, type in TeamViewer, T-E-A-M-V-I-E-W-E-R, and then Press enter on the keyboard. You may get this box from Google pop up, just to agree to it. And then head over to here. So we're going to go to TeamViewer Remote Desk Software. You can also click on the Mac from here as well. But we'll just go to the main website just to show you. Okay, down here there's a white button that says download for free. For private or non-commercial use, we'll click on that one. It says, do you want to allow downloads on TeamViewer.com? We're just going to press allow and at the bottom you've got a cookie notice just press accept okay, you can see it downloading on the top right hand corner here you can left click on this arrow it shows you how many seconds are left okay that's all done then if we left click on the dmg file double click it's going to open the file let's wait for this to finish installation was successful so we'll just click close. It's asking, do you want to remove the file? We downloaded the bin. We'll say yes. Move to the bin. And that should disappear. Now it's asking us for our initial setup. What, what do you want to use it for? If you're a business, go for the top option. If you're a personal use, go for the middle option. And if you've already paid for it up front, go for the bottom option. We're just going to do personal use for this tutorial and then click finish okay as you can see it needs access to certain things such as screen recording accessibility and full disk access before it will run so we click on request access and then open the system preferences okay in order to unlock this because you can see it's grayed out you need to click the padlock down the bottom put your password in And then click unlock and then now we can put a tick in this box here and it's going to say do you want to quit and reopen we're just going to say quit and reopen and if we close this uh, security and privacy box go back down to team viewer as you can see we've still got a triangle at the top corner which is giving us a warning. So we click on the triangle and we need to do the rest. So we request disk access for accessibility. This is so people can take over your keyboard and mouse and help you remotely. Okay, same again. Click on the padlock. Then click unlock. Okay, then we put a tick in this box and close the security and privacy box. Last one to do is full disk access. This is if you want someone to transfer files from their computer to yours. Open full disk access and preferences. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, full disk access is here. And then we click unlock. Pop our password back in again. And then click unlock. As you can see, there's nothing in the box to tick. There's no team viewer or anything. So we've got to press on the plus button here. Obviously it's going straight to our documents. We want to go to applications. We want to look down the list for team viewer. There it is. And then click open. It wants us to quit and restart again. So we'll just quit and restart again. And we'll close the privacy box. Okay. Reopen Team Viewer. You know you set up correctly because there's no triangle icon up here, which means all our settings are correct. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll catch you in the next one.